In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the desktop version of CapCut. So let's get started. <laughs> First, I'll go ahead and click on the link in the description to open up this website right here that is CapCut.com. Now over here we have the option to download for Windows but if you scroll all the way to the bottom you will find that there's an option to open up CapCut Web, CapCut for Windows and the mobile CapCut app. You can either download the mobile app, download the Windows version or just start editing directly from your web browser. For today's video, we're going to be downloading the Windows version of CapCut. Let me just click on this link right here. And then it is a 333 megabyte file. So just have to wait for a few minutes for it to completely download. Now as you can see, it's done downloading. So go ahead and open up File Explorer. And then the Downloads folder. Here as you can see, we have the application installer right here. Just double click on it. Over here, check the box that says Agree with CapCut. And then click on install. Now over here go ahead and click on confirm. Now here as you can see we have this dashboard over here. Now just go ahead and click on start creating. Now here as you can see CapCut has launched right here. If you go ahead and look through all of these options we have. As you can see it's just like the mobile version. We have the audio tab with all of these music that we can select. We have the text tab, the stickers tab, the effects tab transitions and filters and all these other sub options right here which you can choose from. You can even modify the aspect ratio of your video by clicking on modify over here. Now you can just choose the resolution to customize and then set the length and width. You can go to performance and turn on proxy so that you can edit without any lag. For extra boost in performance you can click on menu over here, click on global settings and then click on performance where you can check these two boxes and this box as well and you can select this one as well so that proxy mode is enabled and you can experience a better editing performance back on media you can just click on the important button over here and just load in any video or photo you have and just drag it onto the timeline and you just go ahead and add a text you can add effects to the video transitions filters and many more cool effects you can put onto your video and yeah, that's how you install the desktop version of CapCut. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.